My name is Rich Adams, Forester 2 with California State Parks, Sierra District. We're at Plumas Eureka State Park, about an hour north of Truckee. We're kicking off our wildfire and forest resilience program. And we're doing forest thinning and hazardous fuel reduction to prepare for wildfire and to prepare for prescribed fire. We actually have a number of objectives that we're implementing here, but this is the escape route in the event of a wildfire. So this is a critical area for us. So in the event of a wildfire or really any kind of disturbance to this forest, we want this forest to survive and thrive. And resilience means it will live on and still be here for future generations. Right now we have a crew at work. I can hear the chainsaws in the background. We're actually removing trees. We're thinning the forest. And we have an eye for that. We're looking at the trees that we want to keep and then we're thinning around those to protect those in the long run, to give them more space, to protect them from fire, from drought and insect and disease. But by thinning around the trees that we want to keep, those individual trees have more water and ability to defend themselves. It's been about 10 years since we've had a state parks forestry crew here at this park. And thanks to this new funding, we have a crew here this year. And we're gonna have a crew here again in 2022. It's really exciting because the state park crew, they're the ones who implement this important work. And, and we're really hoping to sustain a crew here at this park now for the future and to really take care of this place. So this is a, a big picture project here as far as protecting the whole landscape and, and protecting the people who go into this park. And, and so working along this road and making it safer is extremely important for the human lives who are in here. This state park was evacuated over the summer uh, due to the Dixie Fire. The, the Dixie Fire was within view. You could, you could see flames, literally. So this is extremely important work to be able to protect our resources and our people from the impacts and, and the threat of wildfire. It is really exciting to see the potential here for a long-term program, because that's what forest management is, is all about, is the long-term life of these trees. These trees live for centuries and we're only here for a short time, but what I wanna see is this burn program that we have uh, continue, because we did start using prescribed fire in this park in the 90s. And so that's really the vision here in the long run is to mimic the pre-settlement fire regime on our little piece of ground that, that we're taking care of. We do have a huge amount of work in front of us. It can feel overwhelming, but we're a team and we are very proud of the work that we're accomplishing. It really feels good to step back and see what we're getting done and know that we're taking care of this park. And it's not just for us for right now, it's for future generations. I really wanna thank the crew that I've had this year in 2021. It's been a great year. It's been a challenging year in so many different ways. And a lot of times it's hard, you know, to stay the course and keep going but we've really delivered and we can all be proud of what we've accomplished.